The Douglas A-26 bomber, also known as the B-26, is the only American bomber that had participated in three major wars, World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. This is, without doubt, a very successful U.S. military aircraft, with more than 2,500 produced. It could also act as an attack aircraft. A range of guns could be fitted to produce a formidable ground attack aircraft. The I-26 Invader first flew in July 1942. The design was a successor to the Douglas I-20 Havoc, an aircraft with similar roles and layouts. Flight tests revealed excellent performance and handling, but engine cooling problems led to cowling changes and elimination of the propeller spinners on production aircraft. The early A26 versions were built in two configurations. The A26B gun nose could be equipped with a combination of armament, including 50 caliber machine guns, 20 or 37 mm auto cannon, or an experimental 75 mm pack howitzer. The B gun nose version housed six a letter at 50 caliber machine guns. Officially, the all purpose nose, later known as the six gun nose or a eight gun nose. The I-26C's glass bombardier nose contained a northern bomb site for a medium armed to precision bombing. The A-26C nose section included two fixed M2 guns, but those were eliminated after underwing gun packs or internal guns in the wings proved effective during colder weather. The design of the A-26 Invader was typically a fly attack bomber designed in the Second World War. The fuselage was streamlined and contained the cockpit, bomb bay, and gun positions. An Invader crew of three traditionally consisted of the pilot, navigator, and gunner. The latter manning dozer and venture gun turrets the C model featured a bombardier crew member along with two nose mounted 12.7 mm machine guns. The Douglas Invader's lethality was furthermore incented by the option of carrying between 4,000 and 8,000 pounds of internal and external ordnance in the form of drop bombs or 8 to 14 of 5 inch rockets. In fact, invaders were known to be able to carry greater bomb loads than that, as found on the luxury Boeing B 17 flying fortresses. When it was delivered in August 1943, the A-26 immediately became the fastest American bomber of World War II. The system saw extensive action in varying roles throughout the conflict, both in the European front and along the Pacific front. Invaders served through the end of the war, to which many served in the post-World War with the United States Strategic Air Command and Tactical Air Command. In 1950, with the onset of the Korean War, the Invader was one of the first aircraft to be brought 
to bear on the enemy. Now designated the B-26, it continued to see action until the end of hostilities in 1953. It was used almost exclusively on night missions. In 1954, it was phased out of the active Air Force inventory. Starting in late 1961, small numbers of invaders began arriving in Vienna, eventually reaching 12 aircraft. The official mission was training Vietnamese pilots, but in actuality, some combat missions were flown. In addition to the invaders' primary roles of bombing and interdiction, it was modified to accomplish a wide race of other missions. Throughout the years, invaders were used by over 20 foreign governments. <laughs> <laughs>